Hyatt Regency, a hotel in Jersey City, catering to a lot of the financial people, catering, catering to a lot of the business people from New York. There is actually a ferry right nearby. So it allows for someone to easily go from the Jersey waterfront to Manhattan. And it's very, very convenient. Prices are less than the Manhattan hotels. And one of the reasons to have the Hyatt Regency here is because of all the financial firms and enterprises that are around here. We just turn around and we can see all the development here in Jersey City. Now, what that means is for a lot of the financial firms, it's a, a requirement to have visitors come, people from out of state, people from elsewhere. So where are they gonna stay? They need hotel space to stay in. And as the number of people increase in this Jersey City area, workers, uh, I mean, that will require more hotel space. Thus, the Hyatt Regency serves a purpose. And there are other hotels around here too. So really what happens is it's a self-perpetuating uh, development where as more development occurs you need more hotels you need more housing space and as more um, housing space occurs you need more hotels and um, and as more businesses occur you need more hotels because people are going to be visiting the businesses so really in general all around it's a very good thing for everyone but it's great to be able to see what the Hyatt Regency looks like because what happens a lot is you want to stay in a hotel, but do you know what the hotel is like? Do you know what the neighborhood is like? No, you know, you're staying there sometimes for the first time, but this gives everyone a great idea what the neighborhood around the Hyatt Regency looks like. And here you can see that part of the neighborhood is the Hudson River. So you can't get better than that. Great views of Manhattan, not a lot of noise, so it could be a very, very nice thing to stay at the Hyatt Regency. You can see the beautiful views from here. Lower Manhattan and of Manhattan too. And you can even see there, there's space for the hotel guests to walk out onto the pier. Another view of the Hyatt Regency. Looking at it more from the street side, you can see what a beautiful hotel it is. Compact, not like really a high rise, and that's because it's built out onto a pier. So obviously you don't want to make it too heavy because you don't have any rocks or bedrock supporting it, but just beautiful. A lot of space. right next to the PATH station also, which makes it really ideal. If you wanna go into Manhattan, just use the PATH or use the ferry too, as I mentioned. Some people like the ferry service. From the pier, another view of the Hyatt Regency, the northern side of the Hyatt Regency. You can see again the beautiful view that the Hyatt Regency has. Northern Manhattan. I'm sure at night it must be spectacular seeing everything. Now, as I mentioned, a lot of cities and states prefer to use the piers that are already there because they're permissioned by the state, by the federal government, and the environmental protection groups. Uh, to be able to use the piers. And here's another example of how the hotel has been developed and then they also developed this pier to use it for apartments. Obviously, they want to be fair. And there's a lot of decision making that goes on. Like when you want to build a hotel, people say, well, where are people going to stay? So where are people going to live? So they probably wanted to do that. I'm sure many ho other hotels probably wanted to be on that pier too, but the city and the state have to make decisions about like what's going on. They can't have only hotels in the prime location. 
and that's great but at some point it becomes a political decision where the politicians say okay let's be fair to everyone let's give businesses a chance having a great hotel and let's give people a chance having a great place to live so you see this and you can even see there a carport and um, it's just a magnificent magnificent hotel